Welcome to this week's video how to use oil pastels or crayons like pro. In this video, I'm going to cover a few topics like gradients, right amount pressure, directions, blending, scratching, line arts, and protect your art piece as well. Gradients. Gradients are important in differentiating one another. Let's take green for example. This, this is more greeny while this one contains a significant amount of blue-green. On the other hand, using a very soft hand to get the right amount of pressure is, is an essential. Otherwise, you're gonna end up seeing harsh lines everywhere. Directions in this case, lighting is the key to decide your direction. Use a circular motion or same direction to avoid harshness and blend well. Blending is the most important process of the coloring and there's a few ways to blend. First of all, dark, medium, light colors by placing one another. And the second method is using a white to blend it. In this case, you can also use a gray white which is similar to white. With a light hand, use circular motion or the same direction will help you blend the colors. When you are using an oil pastel, you can never correct your mistakes like using a pencil. But there is only one way to correct your small mistake, scratching. Caution, it can damage your paper. Line arts. It can define your drawing and create a depth. Also, it can bring your drawing into life. Finally, protect your art piece. You can place a tracing paper or tissue in between the pages. But recently, I discovered another method. Spraying hairspray on oil pastel art. So, you can protect your art piece from transferring and smudge proof. Literally, that's amazing. So, I decided to try it by myself. Here's a proof. I spray painted my hair spray on top of this character art. It's my most favorite art piece yet. So, drop a like for its safety. And I let it dry for overnight. And here's the result. It's smudge proof and transfer proof. Great way to protect your oil pastel art piece. I wish I knew this technique earlier so I can make more of it. Now I can guarantee that I'm going to use this technique more frequently. So that's it for today's video. I believe you get some inputs from me and that help you in creating your oil pastel art well subscribe to me it's literally free and i see you guys in my next week's video until then have a great evening bye bye from the magical arts so bye bye i see you guys in my next video